Hello, this is Kuda Cheese, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, so, yeah, I'm only going to be recording a couple episodes today because I don't really have a whole lot of time. But, we'll try to get somewhere today, hopefully. Maybe. Um, so last time I did a bunch of shrines, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today as well. We're just going to do shrines. Well, it's not going to be only shrines. We're going to be uh, tackling that other shrine that we saw. Kind of when we were trying to glide over directly to the other tower, which apparently is not possible. Good to know. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to just um, glide to that other shrine. And then, once I'm done that shrine, I think that's all the shrines that I have like seen, but... And, and could kind of feasibly reach. Like that should take care of all of them, pretty much. Now, where was it? It was this way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was towards Death Mountain. Of course, I'm taking damage on the cold, because why not? Oh, it's still too cold up here, apparently. Looks like it's just cloudy here, that's good. Cloudy's fine. Thunderstorms are not fine. And yeah, there's the shrine. So let's go there. Now we do have a couple of shrine quests to do, actually. Yeah, we have a bunch of side quests now. So I am tempted to just start doing those, but uh, I think I will probably wait a bit. Hold off on those until we're finished at least another dungeon. Yeah, this is a pretty safe landing point, I'd say. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I note that there is something above us. Probably an enemy uh, fort or something. We can go tackle that after this if we want. I guess if I want. I love the shrine loading times, they're just so much faster. Loading the outside world just takes so much longer. Power of fire. Well, I am well acquainted with the power of fire. It's very good for burninating things. Oh, I can move this around. I don't know why the ca I have the camera on. Probably because I was taking pictures. Uh, stasis? No, magnesis is the- no. Huh, not magnesis either, huh? Oh. Ah, that was a tutorial to teach me that tipping over torches is a good idea. I see that 100 out of 100. Well, this trial is called the Power of Fire, so I'm assuming they want me to use fire to kill it, but... I kind of don't really care. We're not using fire. And there you go. Now we got a guardian sword. That's kind of nice. Those are... I mean, they break pretty quickly, but they're, they're pretty powerful, so... And I like one-handed weapons. One-handed weapons are just so fast. I just find them so much more uh, easy to use. Yes, I know, I'm supposed to cut that with something. Probably. Judging by the fact that they just gave me a weapon, I... I would dare to say they want me to do this. Yes. Of course. Oh no, don't burn the sword. I want that sword back. Well, it burned the sword. Oh wait, no, it didn't. We're fine. Everything's good. Well, that was a weird interaction with that torch. Or lantern, light, whatever that is. Alright, just checking around, making sure that I... Don't miss the treasure chest here. Now, if I'm not wrong, I do believe that shrines actually... Yeah, shrines actually have an indicator on the map that tells you uh, if you've got the treasures in them or not. Apparently, I missed the treasure there. Huh. Yeah, but there it actually tells you at every shrine if you've completed it with the, all the treasures, so... 
that is uh, that is kind of neat. I should go back to some of these, the ones that I didn't get the treasures for. But it is really nice to know, like, hey, I haven't gotten the treasures here. I should head back. I think I've gotten all of them so far, other than that one that I missed yesterday. Not yesterday. Whenever, whenever I last played. Or, wait, no, there was one another showing this one, the wind guides. Yeah, I remember, there was this one chest I just could not reach. But yeah, the, the game tells you specifically if you're missing treasure, so that's that's really, really nice of them. I actually had no idea that they actually did that. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, anyway, uh, enough ogling the game's uh, silly features that don't really make a huge difference. I do want to go find that last treasure in that other shrine, though. The last, uh, those other two shrines, rather. Okay, the game wants me to burn this thing down, so I will. Whoa, 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 don't waste arrows, Link. I love that you can just throw your weapon to light stuff on fire. And, like, you can go and pick it up later, too, which is nice. Like, I don't think that used up any durability. I could have gotten that with Magnesis, I'm an idiot. Night spell, okay. Well, I have room, apparently. I got all the treasure here, okay, that's... See? That's an easy way to check if there's any treasure left. Just look on the map, it'll tell you. There is no treasure left. That is super nice. So, okay, I need to burn those two boxes, got it. Alright, I kind of don't want to use up my Guardian Sword to do that, though. Is there another way? There's not. I see all these other lanterns here, but they're obviously not this or anything. Can I bomb it for... Yeah, can I actually bomb this thing? Or is Link not gonna... No, he doesn't go high enough. Alright, fair enough. Ooh. Oh no! I may have ruined the puzzle. That's not good. I can jump throw. Oh no, never mind. I cannot. You cannot throw while jumping. Got it. Oh, that kind of sucks. I should have just shot an arrow. Let's just shoot an arrow. And then that's our crappiest bow. This bow. I'm not sure how effective this is going to be now. Oh, it works, kind of. Works well enough. Alright, that's one. I think the other one we need to do is this one, which I don't need to waste an arrow on. I can just, uh, I can lob my sword up there. There we go. Yes, I detonated the bomb just because I felt like it. We also have these torches here. Kind of interesting. I like that the shrine is all about just burning stuff, though. I could achieve some of it with fire arrows, but uh, I don't really care to waste any more fire arrows on shrines. I've already done enough of that in the previous shrine, so let's not do that again. Yeah, I miss a sh I miss a chest in the in the shrine about the metal ball and stuff. That's kind of interesting. I don't know where the other chest would be though. Cause I remember finding a chest there, but apparently that wasn't all the chests. Kind of makes me wonder. Like, is this a thing that people track in their one hundred percent playthroughs, or not? I mean, the game is actually telling us that hey, there's a chest missed in this dungeon. Or, not dungeon, but shrine, so... I mean, I would assume that they would naturally need to uh, actually tick that off. Get all of the chests in the shrines, at least, because that is tracked.
Well, then again, I don't really know much about the speedrunning community or whatever, so... I will be trying to get all the chests, but other people might not want to, and that's totally fine, because you can play this game however you want. I am a little bit miffed that I miss it in this shrine, because this one's kind of tedious. It's like rolling balls all over the place, and where did I miss a treasure chest? I definitely miss a treasure chest here somewhere. But where? Well, this part I need to do stasis. Where did I miss a treasure chest? Oh god, no, Link doesn't fit. Alright, no, it's fine, he does fit if he crawls. Wait. How did I stop this boulder? What did I do to it? I literally just walked next to it. And suddenly it stopped. That is strange. Yeah, I got that chest over there. Is there another chest somewhere else? I mean, the game definitely says there is. So, I am missing something. I don't think Cryonis works on lava, does it? No, it doesn't. Like, lava is lava, of course. There? There is a mysterious ledge up there. How would I get there, though? That's a good question. Because there, that is a place where you can hide a chest. It looks like we're not going to be accomplishing much in this episode. Sorry. But I need to get all the treasure chests. It's like... That's one of my goals when I play games. It's like every, anything that is marked for completion by the game itself, I have to, I have to, uh, I have to do it. Well, unless it's like ridiculously annoying, like uh, avoid cuckoos or something for like 999 seconds or something stupid like that. I don't know. Oh boy, the fact that I'm not seeing a treasure chest really bothers me, because I know I'm missing a treasure here. Could it be down onto the side, like over here? No. I do not see anything of the sort. Do I need the metal ball for something? I'm missing a treasure here. Help! Video game! Help! Only thing I can think of is that suspicious ledge up there. But I don't see a chest on it. Or anything indicating that there would be a chest on there. Unless there's a way to, like, fly on this metal ball over there? I just, yeah, I, I really do not know. Something about metal making things move, right? That's what, that's the theme of this level, metal making things move. Uh, so, it probably has something to do with this metal ball. I'm just not sure what. Okay, I know that you use the metal ball to get up here. Is there perhaps something I'm missing up here? Oh jeez. Well, I almost got crushed. Could it have to do with this thing? Nope. Definitely not that. Yeah, I have no idea. Game, how could you do this to me? Why must you bother me with this treasure chest nonsense? Because you never know what's in the other chest, too. It could be, like, really good equipment. Like the climbing gear that I found before. So 
so I, I feel like I have to go. Oh, jeez, seriously? Link, Link, what's wrong with you? Oh, God, the camera. Okay, where is this thing hidden? Where did you hide it, game? You have to tell me where you hid this treasure chest. Oh, there... Wait, hang on. Uh, well, shoot, well, what is it? Chica sensor. Back from compendium. Aha! I knew there was a reason why they gave me a picture of a treasure chest. Target with sensor. Hello. Alright, we're targeting treasure chests. Aha! Aha, it's this direction. Is it that one? No, it's not talking about that one. I don't think so. There's another one. It's this way. Oh, game. Troll. Where is it? Is it up there? Because if it's actually up there, how... Just, what? Game. This is not cool. Oh. Oh, I think I died. No, lava doesn't kill you. It just hurts a lot. You're gonna have to move. It's over there! It's definitely over there! I have missed something, and I am terrible at this game, apparently. This is useless, I guess. Oh, I, I think I need to stasis this first. Maybe that way will help a bit. Yeah, blow it that way. That's good. Oh, hello. I'm an idiot. Of course, the ceiling. Can I break that with anything other than a bomb arrow? I guess the metal ball was supposed to be used for that. I don't really want to go back, though. So, we're doing it this way. Boom! That's way more fun. Yep. Ruby. Okay, well that was not worth it. That really was not worth it. Oh well, we got the treasure. We're done. Yeah, this place actually, uh, this game actually tells you when you're missing treasure. It's kind of nice. And I actually have the treasure sensor, which is a godsend. I am so glad that this game has the treasure sensor. Or at least the treasure chest sensor. That is quite nice. I'm gonna switch it back to, um... Uh, what is it? Shoot. How, how do I set this stupid thing? Right, it's, uh, change target... Can I change back to shrines? Wait, go back. It cached it! That is super cool! So that means if I want to switch over to, um... Treasure chest mode again, I can very easily switch back. That is really nice of them. Also, let me save. Just because. I like to do that. Oops, nope. But yeah, let's uh, take out Blue Horse, and next time we're going to actually get moving, I think. I should have taken the sledgehammer with me. Oh well. It's kind of tempting, actually. Nah, let's not. Uh, you're right. You have nothing interesting to say. You just in. Actually, I might want to sleep at the end. Just for a moment. 
20 rupees. Regular bed. Let's sleep until morning. That sounds good. I like how he just dramatically poses right afterwards. Like he dramatically puts his hands on the desk like that. Let me take the blue horse. He may not have the best stats. In fact, his stats are kind of crummy. However, he is the blue horse. Oh, bye bye. I know, you tell me that every time, man. Alright, blue horse, let's go. Let's go, blue horse. No, don't talk. Let's just go. Heading towards, um. Uh... Wait, did it remove my marker from the tower? Did it remove all my markers? It did. Or wait, no, I, I went to this marker already. I I guess I never marked this tower. Okay, well, let's mark it. Yeah, I thought I marked it, but I guess I didn't. Boom. There we go. Marked. Oh yeah, and it looks like it's time for the end of an episode, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys for the next part.